Hello YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayyid. In this video, we will demonstrate how to find quarters from a given date. To follow along with me, please download a copy of this workbook from the link in the video description. There are two sheets on this workbook. See it and do it. See it is where I will demonstrate. Do it is where you will practice based on what you learn from this video. So let us begin. I am going to make use of a function called choose with a combination of a function month. Month function in Excel will extract the month number from any given date. For example, if I go ahead and type in month and select this date, that is the parameter that has to be passed and close this bracket and press enter, it will return me number of that month. So here the month is March, so it's giving me three. If I just drag this down slightly on the next cell, you can see it's giving me seven because the month here is July. Now we are going to make use of the month function with the combination of choose function. Choose function is designed in a way that it uses an index number to return a value from the list of provided arguments. We can use up to 254 arguments that can be utilized while making use of choose function. To simplify the learning of choose function, let me help you with this example. In this example, I have three dates and I would like to find out the name of the day from those dates. So how I would do is weekday function, select the date and press enter. This will give me the number of that day, but not the name of the day. In this situation, the choose function comes in very handy. I would place my cursor in the C column, paste the choose function, which I have already written. Here, what I am saying is, if the weekday, that is the index value that is going to be returned to the choose function, if the returned value is one, give me Sunday. If it is two, give me Monday and so on. Now I am going to press enter on the keyboard it will give me Tuesday because it's the three index value. If I drag this down for the index value five, I get Thursday and for one, I get Sunday. So here I am going to make use of a choose function where my month of A3 is the index number. And if the value falls between one, two or three, that is the first choice, the second choice and the third choice, my quarter will be quarter one. And if the value falls between four, five and six, the quarter value will be two. Similarly, if the value falls between seven, eight and nine, the quarter value that will be returned will be three. And finally, if the value is between 10, 11 and 12, the quarter value would be four. Now I press enter. You can see the quarter value is one. Now to calculate or find the quarters for other dates, all I have to do is track this down. Imagine fiscal year is now starting from the month of October. So if the months are between October, November and December, your quarter should be one. And for Jan, Feb and March, it should be second quarter. And for April, May and June, third quarter. And for July, August and September, it should be fourth quarter. So the function will slightly change for the index value, if it is between, that is October, November and December, that is 10 and 11 and 12, then the value should be one, that is first quarter. Similarly, the other calculations are happening. All I have to do is press enter and you can see for the month of March, since it is falling between the second quarter. Why am I saying second quarter? Because my fiscal year is now starting from the month of October. And hence, the March will be the second quarter. All I have to do is drag this down to do the calculations or find the other quarters. I hope you found this video very helpful. I would want you to go in to the do it sheet and do some math, draw some random dates, draw some random sales figures and do the calculations if your fiscal year is starting from Jan, April, July or October and see how it goes. In case of confusions, do not hesitate to add a comment in the section below. Do not forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to continue your learning with Sayyid. Have a lovely day. Until next time.